How's it going, guys? It's the morning. Daylight savings. Wonderful thing. We are at Wear Muffin's place, and uh, I just want to show you guys a little bit of his area. It's got a cool little contraption here. He calls it the Endervator. It doesn't always work. <laughs> So I'm just going to try to sneak over to the side there. Uh, what's supposed to happen is when you teleport up there, you trip the wires, and then the trapdoors come up and protect you. But I'm a little bit lagging because I'm downloading Natural Selection 2. Um, but yeah, interesting little thing. They've got a lot of eggs on the server because um, apparently a the sand generator trick works for dragon eggs as well, so they've been duplicating them. I'm actually curious. Um, I've got three levels on me. I don't think that's enough levels to. I was going. I was going to rename one of these, and then see if the name duplicates as well. Because if it doesn't, then you can name the one true egg, and then keep the rest. Ooh, carrots. I need these. Yoink! And plant. I might as well grab a couple. Yahoo! Yahoo! Don't really need taters, but I do need. Uh, a lot of carrots. Hmm. Sniffling, of course, because it, it is the morning after all. Um, I didn't even realize it was daylight savings today, and I was like, I woke up at 7 a.m. first, and then I was just like, whoa, it's kind of early. I'm like, how am I still up? And I didn't realize that my cell phone also just automatically sets itself. But yeah. So he's got that thing going on. I got f breakfast. Thanks, Jazz. And. I just want to take a look. It's got an iron farm that he's building over here. Very colorful. <laughs> but you guys can probably notice it's pretty much the same design. It's just he's just building it out of random materials, it seems like. And uh yeah, he's got a lot of crazy little things going on. I have no idea what that is. Uh, let's go check it out then. But yeah. Anyways, you guys probably see that I'm carrying an enchanted book. Uh, this is indeed a bounty, but who is it for? I don't know. We'll take a look later. Oh, no, I thought I got it. thought I got it. Let's try not to land in lava. There's a lot of lava around here. This is grass and sand. Interesting. Oh, it's so hard to move. Uh, okay. No. Yes. No. I have no idea where the heck I am now. This mob this is probably like a mob farmer or something. I imagine. I have no idea what this is. So confused. <laughs> uh, I'm not healing. Let's eat that last one. Okay. So... Um, yes, let's take a look. I don't want to toss the pearl in there. That's just a bad idea. Let's go over there. And then we'll go in there. Oh, I might die. Let's not do that then. Oh, we're in the regen area, right? Yes, we are within range of the magical regen beacon. Hallelujah. Okay, and here we go. Let's take a look at this book. Target yourself. Reason, entertainment, reward, one other star. Info on page two and three. You must off yourself on camera and upload the video. You must off yourself in a creative way. To clarify, do not simply jump into lava or hug a creeper. Be creative. For example, drown in another, fight a well-armored, weaponized zombie with your bare hands. Bare hands? I don't have bare hands, but I do have bare hands. Fall from the world limit to bedrock. If multiple people accept the bounty, blah, 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 blah. Remember what the Dormouse said. I do not remember what the Dormouse said. Anyways, there's Steven, Wearing Muffin's butler. He's a well-armed He's a well -armed zombie. And I don't ever plan to come back here and visit, so let's dump off our stuff. I picked up some dragon eggs off him, you probably noticed. Let's dump off our stuff, and let's get to it then. Um, with regen and resistance on, we'll probably last a little bit. Ooh, I'll take that off too. I always forget about my armor. But yes, um, my goal here is... should I actually keep these ender pearls. I shall borrow some new ender pearls. Fresh ender pearls from Wear Muffin. Thank you, Wear Muffin. 
you're too kind. Um, but we're going to tap them, and then we're going to book it. We're going to run. We're going to see how long we can last. There's a suicide booth. It will kill us. We could also use that if we wanted to. <laughs> can I run over this way? This doesn't seem to be... Oh, there's a ladder. No. Well, let's see. Let's just play by ear, shall we? Yahoo! Come get me, you ugly pig. Oh. He's not coming after me. I think he's stuck in the lava. Yep, he's stuck in the lava. Oh, you're so dumb. You're so dumb and ugly. Oh, oh. I, I want... Yeah, he probably gets... Wait. Does he also get regen and resisted as well? Oh, you want a piece of this? You can't, because you're in lava. Oh, he's trying, he's trying. Let me, let's try to nudge him out. Let's be smart about this. Oh, no, he's coming this way. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> he's swimming over towards me. No, no. He's got the regen on, I think, right? No? Whoa, where'd he go? Is there, like, an upper area up there that I don't know about? Come back over here. All right. Well, it seems like we can't do this one. So that was gonna be the way I was gonna kill myself. But we're gonna have to come up with a different way. Oh, it worked this time. Hallelujahs. Does the lava lead up here? Maybe. Oh, it does. Oh, there he is. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, you can't get to me. You still can't get to me. That's because you're a derp. Oh, shoot, I fell down. Whoa, one-shot it! <laughs> okay, well then. One-hit KO. Ah... <sighs> Oh, that was fun, but I wonder, zombie pigmen, isn't like regen like poison to them? I don't even know. Hmm. Curious. Curious indeed. Okay, so hopefully that will earn us another star. I don't know when this video is going to come up. It's going to come up. It's going to take a while before it comes back up. And uh, I said we were going to build ourselves. We're going to build ourselves our house today. So I've got 55 fence posts. That should be enough. We'll grab a couple of these things. Um, and yeah. I was gonna do I was gonna do something kinda cool. So I'll show you guys the starting parts of the house and then the rest of the house. I don't even know what I want to do. I think I need a I'm gonna collect a whole bunch of birch trees and use that because I kinda miss the ugly house that I had from before. Um, I guess we'll have to make do with this. One piston. One red torch. And uh, let's grab a bunch of dirt. I don't even know if I showed this to you guys yet. This, this, this is my little home away from home. This is my temporary building area uh, that I've been working on. There is a, a cave spider spawner behind there that uh, I'm eventually going to hook up to a grinder and yeah I'm gonna use that uh, I guess I'll show it to you guys while I'm at it um let's get some smooth stone <laughs> but yeah uh, I've been strip mining down there and I've been making farms up here got my tree stuff going on I got wheat going on. I think I'm going to have to dig out this area there to mirror that side and do my carrots over there. And yeah, I've got my melons here. Alright. Okay. So. That's the cave spider spawner. So yeah, it, it works pretty close by, so it's all good for me. And the path into my place is a little bit convoluted, so... It's fine. <laughs> Makes it harder for people who are coming in to get me. To get me. If you know what I mean. 
Still don't have a Silk Touch pick, so I can't even move my Ender Chest right now, which kind of sucks, but what are you going to do about it? You're going to sneeze, that's what you're going to do about it. Mm. Okay, usually sneezes come in threes. I don't know about you guys, sneezes come in threes for me. I feel another one coming, but... Maybe not. <laughs> it's night time. I guess we... I don't even have armor. Never mind. We'll get a sword, though, at least. Do 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 do. Let's get our stuff back going. So that is claim. I'll leave that here. Get my hat on. Uh, I don't think I really need that. Do need these. Oh, I don't have food. Uh, we'll take these on the way back in. Okay, I think that's good. Let's just go with that. Oh, Enderman, hello. That reminds me, I always wear my hat. Okay, and it's kind of dark out here. Hmm. Well, it's only me and Arl, and I don't think he's going to go to sleep anytime soon. So we will come back when it's daytime, because I don't feel like fighting mobs every few seconds while I'm recording, because that will just annoy me. So we'll be right back, guys. Hmm. <clears throat> Ahoy indeed. Alright, so it's daytime, and I was just watching YouTube videos on while I was waiting, and also eating. There was a spider that was trying to get at me all night. Where you at, bro? Where'd he go? You guys can hear it, right? Not crazy. There he is. Yeah? Yeah? You want a piece of this? Or do you not? It's too late. Did it anyways. <laughs> okay. So we want fence posts rising out of the water. And I was thinking that I might do... Like, I want to do little small huts coming out of the water. So I'll do like one hut here, a big one across the middle, and then maybe a medium-sized one over there. So, I am going to start with start with a medium one. And try to figure out roughly what kind of height we want out of the water here. Um, let's do the corner. And I'll probably be have the house itself extend a little bit beyond the fence posts coming out. Little stilts on water. Bloop. 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 I think... That's about good enough height, right? Just two out of the water. That should be fine enough, I think. Yeah. So let's do like that. And then follow this line across. I like how when I build these things, I really have no idea what the heck I'm doing. I feel like, uh... What's his face? The painter guy. We were just talking about this on Skype the other day. Happy little clouds. Happy little trees. Hmm. Hello, chicken. Got a lot of life, animal life around here, despite the fact we're in a taiga. Okay. So we're going to do it like that. So we'll start with this part of the house, and we'll use that as kind of the entrance, I think. Should be good. And I'm trying to think whether I want this part. Uh, you know, I'll line them up. I was going to say, like, do I want to line it up or not? But we'll line it up, and then I'll use this part right here as the kind of the entrance way, maybe. And here's how I want to do the entrance. I am actually going to use these trap doors to walk myself up onto the area. And what's great about trap doors is that mobs really can't climb on them. So, again, I can have a nice open little area that other things can't use. And the cool thing about trapdoors is that we can also have them floating up in midair. You guys probably see me do these little tricks way too often. Oh no, it can't float anymore. Well, that sucks. <laughs> oh, there goes a lot of my plans. Huh. I wonder if they fixed that in the recent update, because it worked in the 3.2. But it doesn't seem to work anymore. Well, let's see if I can do it like this. Oops. 
That sucks. I made eight trapdoors expecting this to work. Okay, so that's holding it up, but if I break this... Yeah, it pops. Dang it. Hmm. Question mark. Nope, that pops too. Well, there goes that idea. Alternatively, <clears throat> the other way we can prevent mobs from getting up to us, we could just use the fence post and have people jump on fence posts. It's not very comfortable jumping on fence posts. Um, it's very Asian martial arts style training-esque, but it doesn't look as good either. So, Sneeze finally came. <laughs> I haven't sneezed the entire time when I was watching YouTube videos and waiting for the for day to come back, and then suddenly, as soon as I start recording, uh, I, I get that little sneeze again. Oh, I was gonna have a uh, trapdoor staircase going into the house, trapdoor bridge across, like between the two houses and all that kind of stuff. That was gonna be brilliant. Well, now we have to go back to the drawing board. But yeah, here is the start of the house. <laughs> I gotta think what other material do I want, what other material I want to uh, use for this. Um, but yes, I will make some progress on the house. And I think the main story is gonna be one. The main, the main, the, the, medium, the medium sized building is gonna be one. And then the big building is probably gonna be two story. And then the small one will probably be maybe a two story too. Whew. Um, I'll do whatever makes sense, whatever looks kind of cool. But yeah, we'll get on that. I need to go get a lot, a lot of uh, birch wood. Or maybe I'll just build it out of rig. I'm going to build it out of wood for sure, um, but I haven't decided what kind of wood. Maybe I'll just mix it up. I'll do stripes of every kind. We'll see. All right, guys. When we come back, the house will look a little bit more like a new Yankee Workshop episode. I believe, I believe, every day's a good day when you paint. I believe, I believe, it'll bring a lot of good thoughts to your heart. I believe, I believe, every day's a good day when you paint. I believe, I believe, it'll bring a lot of good thoughts to your heart. To build a happy little cloud, to build some happy little trees, there are no limits here. Start out by believing here. You can almost paint with anything. All you have to do is practice. There are no limits here. You start out by believing here. It's in your world. You're the creator. Alright, so <laughs> enough of that. Bob Ross is the painter guy. And I was talking just before the cut. Uh, New Yankee Workshop is another show. I watched it when I was a kid because there's nothing else better to watch. Anyways. Levitating trapdoors still worked. Turn out the trick was I needed to do a one tick, a really fast tick piston rather, and that will allow me to get our little friend here, which is what I wanted. Uh, we cannot put them side by side. It's another problem, and yeah. So we're gonna put another one up uh, here, up in here, up in here, like so. Let me show you guys exactly how that is done. So put the piston next to it and basically you need to do a fast tick. So the way we do that is we charge up a block and we put a redstone torch on, on it, either beside it, above it, whatever, and it will flash on and off real fast like that. And then I'll push the trap door up onto that spot and you're free to clear everything up. I might have to move this if I end up building a porch, uh, which I think I might. I don't know. Porches are nice, uh, but yeah. I think the last trapdoor can just simply go on whatever is here. But yeah, so we have two trapdoors now. And I've got myself some birch. Got some birch saplings that I've planted down, and uh, one of the trees already grew. So we got that. I got the rest of the houses stilts laid out. 
And I haven't decided what I'm going to do for the flooring. Last time we did yellow wool, I believe. But you know what? This time, I think even though we are using birch tree as our main building material, um, I really do think that I want to try to make it look good. Basically, what I'm saying is like, I'm going to make birch tree look good. So we're going to find some good colors to mix with this. I'm thinking dark wood actually would mix well, incredibly well with this. Um, I have to see how dark plank would match, cause, but dark spruce will actually work really well. Um, otherwise, I might use uh, wooden half slabs kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I extended past my stilt here, but eventually the house will connect back to the stilt. So that is the place so far, guys. Um, between the houses, like I said, we're going to do uh, little bridges made out of trapdoors. I haven't decided the height yet, but basically the trapdoors will have to lay uh, like diagonally from each other like that because I can't put them next to each other. Otherwise, they will update and they will pop off. But as long as they aren't actually physically touching each other, they could be diagonally. Um, and that will work. So I'll probably do that. Either that or I'll do another staircase type thing. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, so there's that. And I guess I'll just get building this in the off time. And this episode will come up whenever it comes up. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. So just wanted to show you guys that I've got the trick down. And yeah. If you guys never watch New Yankee Workshop, basically uh, it's a show where the guy is like, yeah, we're going to build a chair today. And then he'll be like, okay, first you get the wood and then you sand it and then we'll be right back. And it comes back like, bam, the chair is done. He's like, wait a second. What happened with all the in-between stuff? Like New Yankee Workshop was an interesting show to watch people do things. Um, but if you want to learn how to do things, actually, it's not a good show to actually watch. That's quite funny. But yeah. All right. Be back. Okay, so I'm just taking a break right now, and I realized that one of my puppies followed me into the nether. I got blown up by a creeper, so I've decided I need to replace the armor that I lost when I was pranking Benak. Um, but yeah, so I brought moon boots over here. Um, I think Springy Heels, I can't remember what the other dog's name was, but he's still back at home. This is Moon Boots. And this is my indeed my dog. Left a sign there. I'm Moon Boots, the official, not the official, the unofficial bounty hunter mascot. And I put a bounty on Moon Boots, the dog. Target. Moon Boots, the unofficial bounty hunter mascot dog. Reason, not actually the official mascot. Duration, forever. Reward, 10 or so. Deaths personally handed to you by various members of Ground Fox, each death done in a unique way. Or not. I mean, why would you kill an innocent and cute little puppy? Monsters. Signed, Mr. Scary Muffin. Moon Boots. The dog. Can't fit that in. Titles are really, really limited, but sign and close. Here it is. Shazam, that book is in there, and I'm going to go enchant, and I'm going to go back and repair all the damage that the creeper did when it exploded, yada, 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 I hate working at night, blah, 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 <laughs> and we'll be back. So, wrapping up the wood part of my place now, and uh, I'm pretty happy overall with how it looks. Did some random fiddling around here and there, all that kind of good stuff, and yeah, actually, maybe I should make a one wide window here. I need to go get more glass panes to finish off the rest of this place as well. But other than that, everything else is looking pretty good. I need to decide what I'm going to do for the roofing of this place. Let's check the light level over here. This is a 7 unfortunately, which means I need to figure out what my buttons are. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess we'll have to do that. Trapdoor bridge, working pretty good. Had a creeper explode on me previously. Uh, that's why I'm lighting up the floors here right now. None of these are like bottom slabs, so they won't prevent mobs from spawning. And right now my house is very not lightning proof either which kind of is concerned. I need to put a roof over my place. It's, you know, it actually doesn't look too shabby. 
I got I to gotta admit. Looks kind of cool. Yeah, got that to that. And then a random little tiny building over there. I'm probably going to put my alchemy stuff, I think, in that little back house. Um, put my alchemy stuff there. I got some storage room in there if I want to. Uh, haven't really decided. I'm probably just going to do some kind of enchanting setup there. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, most likely, because since I have my cave spider thing, when I build the grinder, I will leave an enchanting setup back over there. So I don't know what exactly I'm going to do with all these different places. There's so many things. Um, but yeah, roofing is a big question right now for me because I don't know exactly what I'm going to do on top. I was thinking nether brick. I mean, snow and nether brick worked okay uh, for the BPS server, and we'd have the white again, but... I would I would do more wood except I want something that is uh, not so flammable so I'm thinking I'll do something else um, and I might even not even do like a triangular roof especially since those two houses the back house and that one kind of connected in a weird way I think I might actually just do some kind of a box maybe um, just take like cobble slabs or something like that and just do the entire top maybe that's that's my be what I end up doing. But yeah, um, let me know what you guys think. Should I just make them a square? That will be a little bit lazy on my part, I think. Um, I don't know if I want to do a second floor if I'm doing a square. I, I like, I kind of like this kind of look. And if it stays like this and they just have a cobble slab topping, um, I think I'll be fine with that. But anyways, I'm at level 31, so I figure I'll do an enchantment, and we'll end the video here for today. And uh, yeah, so let's do a pick, I think. I'm pretty low on diamonds right now, but I still need a silk touch something. So let's try to go for a silk touch pick, and then we might go caving a little bit or something like that. I don't know. We'll do, we'll do something or another. And um, hey, friend. Got my little sand generator over here. Uh, I had to rotate it a little bit in order to fit it into my spot. I could do a sword too. I have the wood. I have exactly one stick, which isn't great. Okay, so we'll do a pick. We'll skip three as we normally do. As we are inclined to do. Unos, dos, tres, silk touch me. Good enough. <laughs> Good enough. We, we don't have that many fortune picks on this server, so it wouldn't hurt to have another fortune pick. Uh, but this one still hasn't been used up that much. But yeah, another fortune pick. Great. We got the nether star for killing ourselves. Um, I guess I should like frame this or something like that. Um, some other... Some other things have been put up this week already, and I might be taking some of the contract, maybe this week or next week, so we might get a video of that where I'm going around killing people, so we'll see. Whoops, that, that definitely doesn't belong there. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. As always, if you enjoyed it, leave a comment, and I'll catch you guys next time, uh, wherever, whenever that may be. Ciao!